Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back 4 app and in today's video we're going to load all the records from my class using React Native and Parse. So here I have my to-do list app and every time I type a new to-do and click add, I have to refresh this portion of the screen showing all the to-dos that I have in the class. To do that, I created this read to dos method here, which is a synchronous function, and inside here we will do a parse query that will retrieve all the records from the class. We do that by typing const parse query equals new parse.query and passing the class name as a string to do. Then I'll do a try catch block that will try to execute some code, if it fails it will enter the catch block. So I won't specify any parameters for my query because I want all the objects. We do that by typing let to dos, which is the variable that will hold my results, equals await, because this is a synchronous call, parse, dot, parse query dot find. As I did not uh, specify any parameters for this query, it will bring all the results. So once I have all the to dos inside the to do class uh, at, at, uh, assigned to my to dos variable, I can set read results and repaint the part of the screen with the results that I brought. If something goes wrong, I'll enter the catch block where I can just alert the error and the error.message which contains a message telling why exactly it failed. With all this done, I can save and compile and when I type a new to-do here, so my first to-do and click add, it will save that one record and refresh the screen with all the to-dos that I have. If I keep adding it will keep on refreshing, retrieving all the records that I have. And if I delete a record, it will also retrieve all the records except that one I deleted. So this is how I retrieve all the records from my class using a parse query in React Native. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you on the next ones of this series. See you soon, bye bye.